What do you think is scarier, the idea that we are alone in the universe or the idea that we aren't? Why? That we aren't. If we're alone then we are the best and worst of the universe. I don't want to run into a species worse than us. It's scarier if we're not alone but also way more interesting. We can't even phantom what life from another planet would be like. Sure, it could be similar to life on our planet. But we have a sample size of a single planet where all life evolved from the same single cell organism. And yet we seem to always give theorized alien life Earth life traits. Life on another planet could be so different from us that we wouldn't even recognize it as life. The idea that we are alone. If we are alone, then we are like the lone survivor on a deserted island. With nothing and no one. Forgotten. Starring into the distance hoping for rescue that will never appear. That we aren't. Another species that may be smarter or hostile could be scary. Not only that but at least we have each other so we're not completely alone. The idea that we are alone. It gives me a feeling of loneliness and that there is not as much out there to look for. Existence would not be as interesting. Aren't. I know the limits and destructive capabilities of humans. I don't want to have to guess at a species we don't know. And may not be able to communicate with. We aren't alone. Then everything is up to us. That we aren't. The idea that we are alone isn't scary at all. It's just sad. Doesn't matter to me personally probably. Cause I don't think there's gonna be an alien invasion within the next 100 years. I think the scariest thing is that if an asteroid hit Earth right now and destroyed everything. Nothing that we know of will recognize any record of anything that ever happened on Earth. There will be nothing to account for the loss of Earth. So if there's nothing out there to do that. Then it's like Earth never existed at all. Scary. Edit. Golden record. Tree falls in woods. Entropy. Got it. The idea of being alone. The idea that it matters. The idea that regardless of either possibility. There is no saving us from ourselves. Mathematically there should be life. I think it would be far more frightening. That we are alone. The idea that we are alone because that would mean no other hospitable planets exist in the universe and when the earth finally blows up or whatever then that is the end of life in the universe. I got eaten by an alien in a dream when I was 10. I've been kind of afraid of aliens ever since. That being said, I don't really have an interest in meeting other life forms from outer space in this lifetime. That we are alone. For sure. Now not saying that is scary but it's scarier than knowing there are aliens because if there's one then suddenly the odds of more goes up. And given the scale. The possibilities are endless. We could come across aliens that have cures for all diseases and answers to all our questions about the universe. All given to us in the space of a couple days saving us centuries of scientific research and advancement. This is equally as likely as a predatory alien species that tries to eat us but generally. When a civilization advances, certainly to the level of space travel, the civilization become more and more peaceful. We are probably not alone. However to get into contact both species need to be highly developed at the same time. What scares me is. That we might have missed or still will miss the existence of another intelligent species by a few hundred years. I think the presence of other life is the scarier thought. Although realizing that we are the only observers of such a vast universe is its own sort of dreadful. We're just atomic machines and chemical reactions following the physics of our universe and yet. We can know of it and divide ourselves from it mentally. That we are alone. Killing all life on Earth is bad. But it's worse to live with that we killed the only life in the universe.
the idea that we're alone. Because it would imply that our existence is winning the astronomical lottery and this is all we're trying to do with it. I think about the ruins of ancient civilizations on other planets and how absolutely fascinating it would be to explore them. I have recurring dreams, nightmares, of an alien invasion. It usually follows some kind of theme where there are instantaneous global sightings and amped up military engagements, reconnaissance to determine the potential threat. I live close to a large airbase by the way. I'll see it pop up on the TV and whenever my family and I go outside we will spot a group of them. It's usually just a blip. Like they are turning their cloaking devices on and off. But it's one of the most terrifying feelings I've ever experienced. Sheer terror and panic grip us and we all confirm what we saw. Nothing I've experienced in real life has filled me with that type of dread. For some reason I'm always convinced there is nowhere to hide. And not knowing what is the exact threat gives me a feeling of futility, helplessness. There is nothing we can do to stop them from having their way with us. Sometimes it feels like they just start bombing the whole planet at once or something. Earthquakes and intense weather suddenly appear and the horizon just shuts down with either black or gray walls like lights being turned off in a long hallway. Till the darkness closes in on me. At the end it always feels like there was something we could have done to prevent it from happening but we procrastinated, it, didn't care and that's why the aliens came. A few times the sky literally tore open and what felt like angels, demons, interdimensional beings just came spewing through. Like projectile vomit through a wet paper bag. Not much I can remember following those instances. Just sheer terror. Credit to N. By Stephen King. I'm sure reading King's and Lovecraft's works plus watching Hollywood have influenced these dreams, nightmares. But I still can't help but feel like being alone in the universe is worse. It seems like the aliens come because we up the planet and they use it as an intergalactic sort of pit stop. They got tired of letting us destroy nature or something. It's not like they were evil it was like they had some sort of grand scheme way beyond what some hairless chimps could comprehend. Alone. It's theoretically impossible for us to be alone. But if we're the first, last thinking life forms in the universe, that's a depressing thought. Cause that means someday, the last human being will die out and that will be the end of all progress. Sure life will go on. But would another species step up and do better than us? Can they? Will they? I guess the not knowing is the worst part of it. Well the idea that we'll never know. There are lots of paradoxes and problems regarding aliens. If they are there at all. Have they developed technology advanced enough to create electromagnetic signals? And if yes, why we haven't seen any signs throughout the visible universe? Our civilization can be easily spotted for everyone in a CA 110 light years radius with radio telescope. And we can't spot anything in billions of light years around? On the other hand, we have animals on Earth dated hundreds of millions of years. And they haven't evolved into space dwellers. Honestly, it doesn't matter if we are or not alone. We'll never reach to the stars unless we find out how to break laws of physics. I. I think fear is a path to the dark side. That we are alone. Given how massive the universe is in space and time the idea that Earth is the only place where any life form exists is unsettling. Everyone seems to be assuming that other life means humanoid or intelligent. To me it just means any life form. Carbon based or made of elements unknown to our galaxy. There has to be something else. The idea that we are. Right now. But the universe is expanding and new galaxies are forming all the time. What if life evolved on another planet in the future? Way after us? They'd have lots of catching up to do. We'd have to be the responsible ones. I'd much rather have non-humans be in charge of peace across the universe. 
The idea that we are alone is way scarier. The idea that we could go extinct in a couple hundred years and be the end of intelligent life in the universe is depressing. I'm comforted by the idea that there's more out there than just us. We are one in a billion trillion trillion. I'm positive that other forms of life exist somewhere in the universe. Whether it's past the observable universe. How about both? We are not alone in the sense that there is another similar life. But not in our time. What's most troubling is that we are not alone but we will never get to meet anyone because of the vast distances in space. As being alone sucks a lot more. We can't possibly be as good as it gets. I refuse to even entertain the idea. Alone. This can't be it in the universe cause this sucks. We legit have a virus going around cause people couldn't wash their hands. I don't think either of those outcomes is scary. Reality is what it is. Getting upset over it isn't going to change anything. That's no more scary than the fact that I can't flap my arms and fly to the moon. That we are alone. That we are alone. It would give credence to the simulation theory. Given the number of stars being circled by planets that we can see from Earth let alone the rest of the universe. The odds are laughably small that on one of those distant planets the same building blocks didn't exist. This planet is not unique. Alone because some astronomical event must have destroyed that civilization. It is only some time until it eventually happens to us. I think both. If we are not alone then of course there could be an alien civilization that is say 10x worse than us and so if we encountered them we could be while if we were alone on the other hand then due to the fact there isn't anyone else around then we're the first, last people in the vastness of the universe. The idea that we aren't. What if aliens want to invade Earth for an experiment of theirs where they create a new species? That we aren't. Personally I would not want an Independence Day situation to happen. Or some next time of Pacific Rim action from space. <laughs>